list of elements stored continuously you are missing one important thing anybody else can any, uh, anybody else would like to try what is an array in terms of c programming all of you have done c programming exactly a data structure is stored similar data right so in the array of characters we have only characters in the array of integers we have only integers in the array of floats we have only floats and so on. similarly an antenna array is very similar an antenna array is a continuous collection of similar type of antennas all the antennas will be same okay however the excitations may be different you will see so the arrays can be 1d ordered in a line 2d ordered in a plane or 3d ordered in a space ordered in a space okay but for this course we will only focus on 1d 2d and 3d okay so our array could be 1 2 3 up to n antennas okay and we assume that the distance between two adjacent antennas is d So this is antenna zero. This is antenna one. This is antenna two. This is antenna n minus two. This is antenna n minus two. Is it okay? And all the antennas are similar. This is a dipole. Then all the antennas are dipole. If it is a loop, then all the antennas are loop. If it is a perpendicular antenna, all the antennas are perpendicular. Is this okay? Okay. and we will see how we can use this to achieve even higher gains as compared to a single array okay and how to we can uh improve the power radiated in one direction and direction we desire and we can completely nullify the power in some direction where we do not desire it okay so let us start with the let us start with the most simple two element array okay so oh. let us start with the two element array we have two antennas let us name them antenna 0 and and then one okay the distance between the two antennas is d meters and we would like to measure the radiation pattern at a distance p okay and we assume that obviously p is this distance uh we call this length to be r okay and we assume that r is much larger compared to and this length is so this length is r0 and this length is r1 so how to write r1 in terms of r0 and d this angle is 5 this angle is 5 how to write r1 in terms of r0 d and 5 if r0 is much larger than d then can we say that this distance this distance so this point is a can we write a a p equal to r0 if r0 is much larger than d then can we write AP is almost same as R zero. Is it okay to say so? Is 
Is it okay to say if R0 is much larger than D? Right? So what is this R1? R1 is this distance. R1 is distance from the antenna to point. Then this distance of course D cos phi from trigonometry. This distance is D cos phi. So R1 equal to R0 plus D cos phi. Is it okay? Also, the excitation of this antenna in phasor form is I0 and 0 degree. The excitation of antenna 1 is I0. Okay, let us change. Let us make this one antenna 0 and this one antenna 1. Okay. So this is I0 and angle 0 and the excitation this one it is A times I0 and angle is alpha. Right. Now, the electric field due to antenna 0 is antenna 0 at point P is E0 is proportional to I0 KR0 Can we write this? The electric field What we have seen in the last class that the magnetic field we have discussed for the dipole antenna it was directly proportional to the exciting current Right? So the electric field due to antenna 0 at point P is proportional to I0, angle 0 and I0, angle 0 and KR0, the angle. Is it okay? Remember it was like this, e to the power of minus JKR. Okay. Okay. Right. Similarly, electric field due to antenna 1 at point P is proportional to I0, P I0 alpha into PR0, sorry PR1, not PR0. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? Now see, what is the total electric field at point P? 
टोटल फील्ड दैट इज इक्वल टू वट इफ दिस इज ई जीरो दिस विल बी ए जीरो अल्फा ए आर वन माइनस आर जीरो इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू एंटेना जीरो एट पॉइंट पी से ई जीरो देन दिस विल बी ए जीरो अल्फा प्लस के आर माइनस आर वन माइनस आर जीरो इज इट ओके इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट पॉइंट पी which is proportional to i0 and angle is kr0 that is e0 then the field at point p due to antenna 1 is proportional to ki0 alpha plus kr1 so this will be this time can we write this can we write this is it okay or not tell me the electric field due to an antenna e that is proportional to the exciting current i0 okay exciting current it has a magnitude and an angle okay and the phase that is linked with the distance say kr distance between the source point and the direction so that is basically k r minus Outside. This is what we are seeing in the antenna class. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. We have two antennas. This is antenna one and antenna zero. This is R zero. This is R one. This point is B. Let us say this point is A. This point is B. This point is C. Okay. Let us start afresh. Antenna A one zero is excited with I zero current of I zero magnitude and phase is zero. Antenna one is excited by a current of magnitude k times alpha I zero and Let us say the phase is alpha. Is it okay so far? Is it okay so far? Okay, so let us for for even even easier. Let us change it. This is let us make this one easier. Doesn't really matter. Whatever. I will do it. So, and we had seen that R one equal to R zero plus D. Is this is the angle is pi D cos pi. Is it okay? Let's make this is zero. Right? What was the electric field? 
electric field E, it was some constant say T I0, it would be power of minus JKR by R. The electric field is usually in this form. The electric field with an antenna at a distance of R from the antenna is usually in this form. So, electric field due to antenna 0 electric field due to antenna 0 will be E0 equal to P I0 e to the power of JK star 0 star 0 Is it okay? So far, is it okay? Is this okay so far? So far, okay, right? Electric field due to antenna one at point P will be P one P I zero P K I zero e to the power of J minus J alpha. E to the power of minus j k r zero by r one. Same logic. Is it okay? Is it okay? Because excitation of at i one is antenna one is k i zero alpha d minus alpha d. Okay. This can be written as this will be R1, sorry. A, C, I0. Can we write this? Can we write this? Can we write this same logic for antenna 1? Is it okay? Yes, d cos phi. d cos phi is this one. See here. R0, R1 equal to this distance plus this distance, it is d cos phi. We have assumed that the excitation of antenna 1 is Ki0 minus alpha d. And this is I0, 0, 0. This is angle phi, this is D, so obviously this will be D cos phi. Okay. R0 equal to R1 plus, sorry, sorry. R1 equal to R0 plus D cos phi. 
Yes, uh, in E1 equation, can we? I am drawing it for here. You can for your problem. I am drawing it again here again for your problem. This is antenna one. The excitation is E I zero minus alpha degree. Here the excitation is I zero zero degree. This length is R zero. This point is P. This point is say A. This point is B. This point is C. Okay. A B length is oh oh yes sorry B cos right sorry B cos right this will be B cos I will stop okay now see here now see here. This is written as A C I zero R zero e to the power of minus J K R zero e to the power of J alpha e to the power of minus J K B plus one. Can we write it this way? Can we write it in this way? Yes. See now, this thing, this thing is E zero. This thing is E zero. Sorry, E E is not E cancel. So this is A E zero e to the power of minus J alpha J A D plus five. Can we write it? This is E one. Equal to K E zero e to the power of minus J psi. What is psi? Psi is nothing but alpha plus K D plus psi. Is it okay to write this? Is it okay to write this? Right. Now, what is the total field at point P? Total field at point P. E total will be E zero plus E one. There are two antennas, so the total field at point P will be the fields due to antenna zero and antenna one. Total sum, right? Okay. So this is equal to E zero plus K E zero e to the power of J psi, right? That is E zero. Okay. Now, what is the magnitude of E total? Right. We assume that a is equal to one. So, magnitude of e total equal to e zero one plus. Okay. This can be written as. Okay. Clearly, the magnitude of this is one. So this is magnitude of E zero. This is two E zero cos of psi by two. 
where chi is once again alpha plus kd cos phi. Is it okay? Is it okay? So, magnitude of E equal to 2 E0 cos of 5. What is this angle 5? If two antennas are like this, remember 5 was this angle. Suppose I want the broadside pattern. What does broadside mean? That my maximum radiation will be in a distance that is perpendicular to the axis. If my axis is this, okay, I want the maximum radiation in these two directions. Okay, how to ensure that? How to make that happen? At the direction of maximum radiation, 2 is a constant, we cannot change the value of 2, 2 cannot be changed, E0 is a constant, we cannot change E0, so what we can change, we can change 5 by 2, okay, so when 5 by 2 is max when cos phi by 2 is maximum, answer is when phi by 2 equal to n pi. Obviously, see, when is cos, cos theta maximum? Cos theta is maximum for the magnitude. The magnitude of cos theta is maximum for 1. Cos theta is 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. Or in general case, cos theta is n pi, n is an integer. Okay. Is it okay? Is it okay? So, what will be phi be? Phi will be 2 n pi. In other words, phi will should be 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi. Or phi is a even integer. Okay. So far is it okay? Right. What is phi? Phi was alpha plus kb cos phi. That is 2 and pi. Sorry. If we desire maximum radiation at phi equal to 0 degree, sorry, phi equal to pi by 2, then what will happen? Alpha plus kd cos pi by 2, that is 2 and pi. Okay. But pi by 2 is 0 degree, this is 0, cos pi by 2 is 0, so alpha should be 2 and pi. So in order to have 2 and pi means what? They are in the same phase. Alpha is 2 and pi means what? They are in the same phase. 2 and pi means 0 or 2 pi or 4 pi. 2 pi phase difference is basically 0 phase difference. So to have a broadside pattern, the two antennas must be excited exactly the same way, okay? There should not be any magnitude or any phase difference between the excitation of the two antennas. Is it okay? Is it okay? In order to have Maximum radiation at angle of pi by 2, which is perpendicular to the antenna axis, 
there should not be any phase difference in the excitation of the two elements. Yes, dot side pattern means okay. So Actually, I could have shown you the code. Dot side pattern means the pattern is like this. These are the two antennas. Antenna one, antenna zero. And the pattern is like this. The maximum radiation is in the direction of 90 degrees. Okay, that is the broad side pattern. Okay. Okay. Any other questions regarding broad side? Now, suppose we want a pattern like this, like this. This is called an end fire pattern, or because obviously the maximum radiation is along the two ends of there. How to do it? How to do it? Once again, we will have alpha plus. KD cos phi should be equal to 2 n pi. Okay. But this time we will have maximum radiation along pi equal to 0 degree or 180 degree. Right. Now cos 0 degrees plus 1, cos 180 degrees minus 1. Okay. So alpha equal to 2n pi plus minus kd. If d equal to lambda by 2, obviously k is 2 pi by lambda, then alpha equal to 2n pi plus minus 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 2. So this is equal to 2n plus minus 1 pi, which means this will be an odd multiple, an odd integer. Okay. Alpha should be an odd integer multiple of pi. So it could be pi, 2 pi, sorry, not pi, 3 pi, 5 pi, what? Minus pi, minus 3 pi, minus pi, pi. Okay. Is it okay? Is this concept clear? So see the power of this. We can change the direction of the maximum radiation by simply changing the phase difference of the excitation, by simply changing the alpha. If you want the maximum radiation in some other direction, we have to choose simply the new value of alpha and it will change. Okay? We are not changing. Uh, point P, uh, one thing, what is the, what was the question? Let us go back. Let us go back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, point at the P point in the first case was slightly tilted towards Okay. Can we directly apply? Answer is yes, you can. The simple reason is this point P is much uh, larger. The distance of this R0 and R1, they are much larger as compared to the distance T. Okay? So you can apply. So if this is this, if this is much larger, you can also say that this angle is, this uh, midpoint, this angle is also fine. Okay? So, okay. Because simply because this is much larger, that will not make much difference. Is it okay? So you can also make this file and measure the file from the center. 
right any other question so the what i want the point i want to make is this that by simply changing the value of alpha we can change the direction of the maximum radiation okay uh in the old war movies you have seen those uh, war movies you have might have seen uh, scenarios where uh, there is a radar which is rotating okay and sometimes it is emitting some sound right so that was previously okay the antenna used to rotate because that's how we can con we can we can do change the direction of the maximum radiation okay the direction where the antenna is pointing that direction has the maximum radiation okay now what is now the radars nothing moves those days of those rotating radars they are gone now the direction of the maximum radiation is changing this way by changing the value of alpha this is called electronic beam scale okay the advantage are plentiful no need to rotating a big antenna requires a lot of energy lot of uh, mechanical energy no need to waste those energy okay it is much faster mechanical rotation has a maximum value but this electronic local rotation you can make it as possible theoretically as fast as you can right so the old movies you see this rotating radars in the air force or in the air field those rotating radars are long gone now the radars do not rotate they keep still but the beams do rotate and they do rotate by in this mechanism by changing the value of alpha this is called electronic beam scale okay let me take your attendance and i will come back to